Hello, I'm Shazam Tisan Watkins. This I'm is Liz Scarlett. I'm Saul Seaton Espresso. We're the Fame Riot. So, uh, one crazy tour story. We were in Arizona on a West Coast tour. It wasn't that long. Uh, and the one thing that I think has remained a constant about psychopaths is they always end up being photographers. No offense to you, you're a photographer, but they end up being like crazy. There's only one now we've experienced that hasn't done anything insane. However, <laughs> there was this one, and, and he's still a good friend, like absolutely. We just saw him recently, and he's a, he's a oh, wonderful he's great. man. He's and this wonderful. wasn't necessarily his fault, but this goes back to not staying out past 2 a.m. We went to a bro bar in Arizona. Uh, what was that place? Lake Havasu, Arizona. It was uh, the, what was it? Needless to say, we were the skinniest men there. Um, and obviously, you know... The most as, sexual as, as well. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the most sensitive, I would say. Um, so we were all kind of hanging out, and I was drinking me sparkling water with lime, because that's what I was doing at that point. And we are just like having a few beers, and there was this crazy guy that took Lizard's hat and sort of... He shouldn't have been drinking in the first place. And he had this sort of history at the bar where he was just a very tall, uh, aggressive man. man. So the entire time I'm like talking him down, you know, I'm like, oh yes, you're the best. You you know, you are, you are incredible, nobody defeats you. Because that's what you have to say to angry drunk people or else they'll mark you and you'll get, you know, a knife in your face. Anyway, so our photographer wasn't really having it. And, uh, and he was having the beer at the bar, just minding his own. And I, mind you, I'm watching completely sober, just like, okay, it's about 15 till we need to get out of here. Like, it's time. You guys, one more drink? You guys have another, another drink? Oh, I gotta go talk to the door again. It's about time. We need to get out of here. So I'm like, okay. Um, and I'm watching this with me drink, right? It's just, it's sparkling water in lime. So I'm just completely straight faced, completely straight laced, sober as a bird, just watching this go down. So this tall, aggressive man, gets in our photographer's face and I'm like, oh, shite. I think he was rather like pissed off that, you know, he was taking photos in the bar and all he, that. He was real pissed. He was, he was well getting, pissed. He was wet and well pissed, and mate. Anyway, so, so yeah, our, our photographer's got just a beer and he's like, you know, he's chilling, he's minding his own. He's like, so hey, people. I've got no problems with you. I don't know why you've got problems with me, but if you If you want to go outside, we can take this outside. No, we don't want to make a, a big scene or anything. No. And I was like, okay, I respect that. By, by the way, this man's like here, and our photographer's like here, you know. This man's like lies. six eight, maybe. So this guy wraps both of his hands around our photographer's throat, and our photographer's no one to, to mess with. Like, no, he, he, he's got, he was he's a great, got a temper. He's a man, you know. You know, he was not gonna he, be like a man. Can't hunting, mess with a man. And so, uh, he, needless to say, the first thing that comes to his mind is, hey, I mean, I'm being attacked, my throat is being squeezed. What's he got on his hand? A pint glass. Oh, a fucking beer. Boom, right up into this guy's face. This guy, a blood explosion. I'm just standing here like, this just happened. Me and him, no, standing just, next to each the, other. The blood pouring from that, from that big blood. I've never was, seen it in my life. Just unfathomable. And he just did, did one of these, right? He did and one and of our these. photographer's just standing there like, what? And then everybody in the bar, including sort of, the security, and, they, and they, they were they waiting couldn't, for something. They couldn't, they couldn't wait, wait for, for something to go down. And they grabbed him and they threw him into jail for self-defense because it was, you know, it was a glass and a bar. It was wrong, unfortunately. You know, you know who, who was the one that got attacked? You know, it was on camera. It was on camera, and there was there were a witnesses. bunch of witness statements, and they're all conflicting with each other. But that's why you don't stay out past two a.m. Don't do it ever. Nothing good ever Nothing happens good. after midnight. Just go to your hotel. Yeah. And you know, alcohol is very volatile, and you need to be careful about how much you're drinking and who you're around, and you need to, you need to keep an eye out on people that you shouldn't Just be messing with. Put the booze away and yeah. take up on a spliff. It's far more less dangerous than alcohol. And that's our tour story.